hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi there this is mikey in this channel i'll be posting daily short videos on topics ranging from gis remote sensing data science machine learning and everything else in between that being said for the past couple of days we have been checking out different topics associated with spatial science such as GIS and remote sensing. Now we will be looking into some basics associated with data science as well in parallel. This way you will have a way better shot at solving real world problems as well as acing those job interviews. Also one of the major motto of this channel is to bridge the gap between spatial science and data science. That way you know we can address issues associated with forestry or climate change so that these collar bears can sleep in peace. Anyways, you will have more flexibility and statistical modeling options if you bring in your spatial data into these platforms such as RStudio. Therefore, I highly recommend you guys to check the R programming software. Python is also a very cool alternative, but again, we all have our personal preferences. Hence, for the next few days, I will be uploading super short basic data analysis related videos for beginners in R. This will be about some of the things you always run into such as how to create a R data frame or how to add a row or how to clear the console or how to export your results as a CSV file or something like that. Very simple and basic stuff. So in case you, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you are someone still on the fence wondering if our programming is the right fit for you, check out the links in the description section. After going through those, you should be in a way better position to make a decision on whether to go ahead with our programming or not. Also, if you have already started with R here and there but haven't made a lot of progress, make sure to check out the R Swirl. I have found it to be one of the most helpful resources while I was getting started with R. I shall include the link to it as well in the description section. In addition, I will also include details on where to and how to download R and R Studio, just in case. So that's all for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And as always, thanks so much for stopping by. Ciao.